Right, so there's something I want to speak about. Something that really annoys me. And that is the Glasgow Uni accent. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that it annoys a lot more people than just me. In fact, I know it. Now, <clears throat> the thing about it is, right, is that it's always put on, right? There's, there's nowhere in the world that that's their, you know, that's their native accent, you know? No. Like, <clears throat> the Bear's Den accent, right? That's, you know, but it's fine. That, that's the way them people speak. That's the way they've been brought up to speak. That's, that's just it, right? However, nobody, nobody grew up with that accent. No. No. It's put on. It, oh, right, so this is what has brought this on. It's on the train today. Train I always get. And my phone died. So I plugged it in. And for the three minutes that it took for my phone to turn back on again, it felt like a lifetime. Three minutes of hell. So there's this guy sitting behind us in the train on the phone. Of course he was on the phone, wasn't he? Oh my god, yeah. I know, like, that's just, like, totes amazing. Yeah, like, my colleague, he, like, he used to always go for blondes. For blondes. But then... He went and he married a brunette. I mean, that's like totally weird, isn't it? I mean, I, could, I totally never expected that from him. Shut your fucking mouth! There's no need for that! Right, the thing is, right, it's like, what? why? Why do you speak like that? Oh my god, I'm gonna speak like this because I think that then I'm better than everyone. But, but you're not. You're, you're just annoying everybody, mate. Nobody likes that. No. There's no need for that. And then it's like, see, when you ask them, you say, why are you talking like that? And I always do it in my roughest voice, go, why are you talking like that, mate? <laughs> and they'll go, oh my God, I, I'm not posh. I never said you were. I never for a second thought you were. Because that is when you know they're not. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, people that you know, like, mate, I knew you two years ago. You grew up on a council estate and you don't speak like that. Why are you speaking like that now? What are you doing? What are the aims and objectives of speaking like that? I don't know. So anyway, this guy, he gets off the train at Greenock Central, right? So clearly, clearly doesn't have that accent. And he's coming off the train and he's still on the phone and he's like, Oh my God, right, that's me just getting off the train now. And I'm just about to get in my car, so I'll actually I'll chat to you later, okay? Bye! Right. Now, he said he was getting in his car, but I doubt he was going to get, get off the train at Greenwood and drive to the outer reaches. This guy was probably from the area, you know? So, no, that's not how he get brought up to speak. No. It's just fake. It's like pure put on. See, next time you hear someone... With a Glasgow Uni accent, just go up to them and just go, boop, like, boop, on the nose. Don't do it hard, because we don't, no need for violence. However, just a wee boop, just to, for them to turn around and go, oh my god, why did you do that? You're total weirdo. And then you can just go, but do it, like, put on the roughest accent ever, right? They're putting on an accent, you're going to counter that accent with this bad boy, go, what the fuck you talking about for me? And then, I don't know what will happen after that, but it'll probably be beautiful. <laughs> so just do it, right? I mean, I should have done it to that guy, so just to go off my seat and walk down in front of everybody in the train and just be like that. Just looked at him for a while and just went, and just went, BOOP! <laughs> right, I would have been well shocked then. Just, I take action against the Glasgow Uni accent. I freedom! We have had enough!